Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about the inductor value calculation in buck converter. How are you going to calculate the inductance value in the buck converter? So let us understand. If you look at here, we have the buck converter circuitry. This is our buck converter circuitry and this is the input voltage VI and I have used uh, single pole dual throw so spdt switch so this is the pole which is single pole and the throw t1 and the throw t2 so dual throw and uh, dual, dual throw switch and then we have the we have the inductor then if you look at here the output capacitor and the load so this is the basic configuration of basically the buck converter pole connects vp connects to T1 during the time of DTS and VP connects G2 during the time of 1 minus DTS. So DTS means the on time of your converter. You can write it as a on time and 1 minus DTS is the off time of your converter your buck converter so if you look at the inductor voltage for on time when your pole is connected to throw one that is dts time okay dts time if you look at the voltage across the inductor i have marked here arrow which indicates the voltage polarity of your inductor that means if you want to connect your digital oscilloscope dso you have to connect the positive tip here at this point and you have to connect the negative tip at this point is how you measure the voltage across the inductor so the voltage across inductor during the time of dts is seen as v i minus v naught vi minus v naught input voltage minus output voltage you will see the voltage across the inductor during the on time and the during the off time the voltage across the inductor if you measure from here this node it is minus v naught so i have drawn here the vl versus time that means for dts period what is the voltage across inductor and for one minus dts period what is the voltage across inductor and uh, then i have repeated again one more cycle so here i am showing you the the voltage across the inductor the inductor voltage waveform for two cycle that is one for dts minus one minus dts again one cycle for dts and one minus d into ts okay so so if you want to calculate the voltage across the inductor during the on time that is vl equals to let's say vl equals to l delta il by delta t and that is given by vi minus v naught and this is the equation number one and this is the voltage across the inductor during the on time dts time and the during the off time the voltage across the inductor vl equals to delta il by delta t equals to v naught okay so this is polarity if you ignore the polarity it is v naught and this is the equation number two and this is for off time one minus d ts time okay now by using either either of two equation either you can use equation number one or else you can use the equation number two in order to calculate the value of inductor or the inductance value i am gonna use i'm gonna use the equation number two in order to calculate the value of the value of your inductor so so we know that the off time voltage across the inductor you can write it as l and the di and this time dt you can write it as 1 minus d into ts equals to v naught right and if you now solve this for l l equals to v naught okay v naught into 1 minus d 
वन माइनस टी डिवाइड बाई डेल्टा आई एंड देन टी एस यू कैन राइट वन बाई एफ देन इट बिकम्स द स्विचिंग फ्रिक्वेंसी एंड दिस इज दैट इज हाउ इफ यू यूज दिस इक्वेशन टू कैलकुलेट द इंडक्टर वैल्यू सो इन द केस ऑफ द बर्क कन्वर्टर द इंडक्टर वैल्यू एल इक्वल्स टू वी नॉट multiply by 1 minus d the off time of your converter divided by delta i into fs wherein your delta i equals to delta i equals to the inductor ripple current the ripple current of inductor ripple current ripple current and which which could be the which could be to tend to 30% of yo i not 10 to the 10 to 10 to 30% of yo i not so delta i is the ripple current which is 10 to 30% of yo i not and what is fs fs is the switching frequency of yo buck converter so that is how you can calculate the inductor value in the buck converter you have to use either of this two equation equation number 1 or equation number 2 in order to calculate the inductance value right now i am using inductor equation number 2 to calculate the inductance value and which comes l equals to v not multiply by 1 minus d divide by delta i into fs 1 minus d into ts for ts i replace ts equals to 1 by fs where delta i equals to the ripple current of the inductor which could be which could be 10 to 30% of your i not the load current or output current if you look at here this is your load current i not so which is the 10 you can consider 10 to 30% of your i not which is the ripple current and fs equals to the fs equals to the switching frequency switching frequency of your converter and d you can calculate by using this equation we know v out equals to duty cycle time v in this is the transfer function or input to output relation in the buck converter so if you know the v out and if you know the v in you can calculate easily the duty cycle of your converter and that is how if you get the value of duty cycle you can just replace the d by your duty cycle value and you can get the value of your inductor or inductance value in the case of buck converter so hope guys you have understood how you gonna calculate the buck converter inductance value uh, the inductance value in the buck converter 